Peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today I want to uh, share a word that the Lord put on my heart and it's just uh, examining the heart. You know, where where is your heart? The Lord says that where your treasure is, your heart will be also. What the Lord is speaking to me today is that he requires all of your heart. There should not be a mixture of what you treasure. Jesus gave a parable uh, talking about the kingdom of God, saying what it is. And what the kingdom of God is, is when it's, it's like when a man goes into a field and finds a treasure in that field. And because of the greatness of that treasure, he goes and sells all that he has for to, to protect that treasure that he found in that field to have it. So that's what, that's what it is to walk with Jesus Christ. That's what it is to be in his kingdom. When you find him, he is the great treasure. So because of the greatness of him, you go and you sell every other treasure that you have acquired in your life. So the Lord wants you to examine yourself. What have you made treasure in your life? Is it your wife or your marriage? Many people treasure those things and, and you know, their their spouses, their world, they used to say, you know, they, they love them with all their heart. They, they, they have their hearts. But your heart cannot be mixed. Your heart is supposed to belong to God only. Have you given your heart to your children, to uh, your career? to education, um, to yourself. People love themselves. This is a very important message because it, it keeps many from entering into the kingdom of God. It causes many to be destroyed because in God's eyes, you become an adulterer. You become... A, a lover of the world, you become an idolater because you covet these things. So, you know, I wanted to, to give this message because it's something that I'm seeing, you know, as I'm walking with the Lord, that many people have not loved God with all of their heart. And, and you cannot love them with all your heart when your heart belongs to other things. So you have to take just just like the word says you have to go and sell all that you have you have to go and sell those things that you might have the kingdom of god and most people won't do it just like the rich young ruler when the lord told him to go and sell all that he have and give it to the poor and come and follow him he couldn't do it because he he loved his uh possessions he loved what he had and many people today, they love what they have. They love their family more than Christ. And the Lord says that you are not worthy of him. If you love mother or father more than me, he says, you're not worthy of me. Wife, children, life, your life, your career, your vacations, your money. If you are not found worthy, and see, this is a deception because people believe that you don't have to be found worthy by God, but you do. It's those that Jesus Christ finds worthy. Those are the ones who will taste eternal life. Those who hear his words and believe them and do them. He said, except you hate your life in this world, you'll lose it. If you don't hate your life in this world, you'll lose it. If you don't forsake all that you have, you can't be his disciple. 
If you don't hate your mother and father, sister and brother, wife, children, in your life, you can't be his disciple. These are all scripture, all things that the Lord Jesus taught. And most people have been taught that it's impossible to obey God. It's impossible to obey the first and greatest commandment that you love the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your strength. But if you don't learn to do that, then you won't belong to Jesus Christ because it is required that you love him that way. And this, you know, it's why the righteous are scarcely saved, the word says, because the way is hard. It's difficult for people to give up the things that they have treasured in this life. But to those who overcome, Jesus says, if you overcome the world and the devil, then there's a crown of life for you. Then he will receive you and be a father and be a God and be your God. So this is a very important word because, you know, I see most people struggle with this. Most people struggle with this, just like the um, rich young young ruler. They go away from the Lord sad because they value what they have more than God. They value what they have built in this life and rooted up in this life more than God. But if you are going to come to God, you come denying yourself. You come empty. You come with a broken heart. Where your heart is no longer, you know, whole in this world. You come broken hearted so that the Lord can give you a new heart. A heart that is his, a heart that loves him only. There can be no mixture. There can be no more idolatries in you. Or you won't enter into the kingdom of heaven. And that's a fact. Be blessed.